What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley for tuning in for the first time. Today I'll be teaming up with Atina Hair to bring you this beautiful bob wig install. And we're also going to do this fun curl to add to it. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, keep on watching. I fell in love with Ashley. Down in Miami we got nasty. I'm not ashamed, I'm not ashamed. Jumping right into it, this is the inside construction of the cap. You guys know a frontal wig is a little bit more tedious than a closure wig. Nonetheless, I got you covered. I'll show you how to install this one. Super simple and easy if you are a beginner. First of all, make sure you utilize that um, elastic band inside. This is going to help the wig to fit a little bit more snug. And as you guys can see, this one already fits amazing. I'm going to go ahead and stamp out the parting. It's great to know kind of an idea of what you're going to do with your wig before you begin your install. They already had this one set as a center part. You can definitely move the parting around, but I'm going to keep mine as a center part to maximize that beautiful cut at the ends. Here's a look at the back of the wig. Super fleeky, but we're going to turn it up a notch. And here is a look at the hairline. The lace is absolutely beautiful. Be sure to check the description box for a direct link and all the details on this wig. Also, here is a look at the hairline, again, behind the parting. I'm going to go ahead and smooth the wig out and make it look super, super sleek. You guys see there is a little bit of a beard along the parting. This is just a process of when they do such a great job at adding the lace or adding the hair to the lace. It kind of will leave a beard sometimes. So I took a wax stick paired with the electric hot comb and I'm going to go crazy, taking my time to make it as flat as I can possibly get it. Next, let's go ahead and cut off the excess lace. Now we're going to bond the wig down using a glueless adhesive. Today we're going for sideburns, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp those out. And I'm going to secure it with the melt belt from BDACBD.com so that it can go ahead and dry while we work on the rest of the hair. Now that we've secured our melt belt, let's add a heat protectant to the hair. Yes, I should have done this before using the electric hot comb, but better late than never. Now we're going to go with the Babyless flat iron and just take our time chasing it with the rat tail comb and just getting a super sleek bob all the way around. The cut on this one is super beautiful and I love the way it sits on me. Now let's go ahead and remove the melt belt. At this point, the hairline has dried down super nice. and We don't have to use a blow dryer or go back in and touch up the lace. You guys see, it looks like it's coming out the scalp. So now let's go ahead and work on the hairline and the baby hair. I opted for sideburns. So we're gonna just work and take our time and trim down the sideburns and swoop them with the mousse. And then we're gonna go ahead and make some very sparse baby hair so that we can still give the no baby hair look while going ahead and camouflaging the hairline and all of that. Now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and add a little bit of powder to the parting. This is gonna help the parting look a little bit more natural and just hide any grids you may see. We're going to take that same powder and add it along the hairline. Again, just making sure that it just blends with my skin perfectly. And here is a close-up of the final result. Absolutely beautiful. Here's a look at the back of the wig. As you guys can see, we soaked this one out and she is amazing. Next, I'm going to do something fun by adding some cute little waves to the hair. This is a new technique that isn't new to the world, but it's new to me. I've been meaning to try this technique on my channel. And you just take small sections of hair. You wrap it around like once or twice, but not to the end. Then you let it go and it gives this cute vibe. Add a little hairspray for some volume and you're good to go. Baby, I think you should side with me. Stay solid one time if you lie with me. Just 
promise you never lie to me. Keep the moves on tuck. I know it's all up. Everything good. Keep the vibes on crush. I know it's all good. Know it's all. Okay, love buds. I'm ready to talk about this one and give you the tea. So I went ahead and installed her straight out of the box from start to finish. She's giving a vibe. Tomorrow is back to school night. I know I'm talking to my kids so much. I'm sorry, but I love my kids. Anyways, tomorrow's back to school night for Papa. And I was going to wear a long wig for the rest of the week. But I think I'm going to skip out on that one and wait until after um, back to school night. Because this gives mom, it gives boss, it gives a vibe, and it just gives the, you know, the vibe. I like to get into character with my wigs and just, you know, set a scene, set a vibe for them. And this one is perfect. So, as I mentioned, this one came from Atina Hair. Um, I have their website up. This is what the wig looks like in a shorter length. Um, I could be wrong, but I think this is about a 10 inch and then here we have the 12 inch, which is a little bit longer. So this one does come in 10, 12, 14, and 16. So 10 obviously fits in like the picture that I showed you. This is a 12, 14 probably would be about here. And then 16 probably would be a little bit out of the bob range, if you will. Um, the website says this is crystal lace short bob, 13 by four lace front human hair wig. It's pre-plugged with baby hair. And yeah, you have options to do crystal lace or regular. As I mentioned, I do have crystal lace and I highly recommend that. I believe this one is 160% density, but you can also get it in 200%. If I am wrong about anything, be sure to check the description box to confirm all the details and all that just in case I got anything wrong in that one. Something really cool that I did with this one with the hairline is you guys know I'm a sucker for baby hair. So instead of pulling out full baby hair, I kind of wanted to give the no baby hair look or vibe. But I wanted to have something down also so i went in and just took these thin little sparse pieces and they do kind of help to camouflage the hairline now as i mentioned we are lucky this one has a beautiful crystal lace so you really don't have to camouflage anything like here 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 there is no baby hair and you can see you can't tell the difference of where it starts and begins or it ends and begins also, I did opt for sideburns. I told you guys I haven't really been into sideburn lately, but today it's given a vibe. So I love this one a lot. This is the packaging here as always. You guys know I work with this company often, so the packaging is the same as always. Oh, this is cute. So they did give me a cute little twilly, and I love that pop of like magenta. Super nice. A blue edge brush um, they also gave a dolphin clip wig caps an elastic band you can sew this into some of your wigs to make them fit a little bit tighter should they be loose it almost will make it fit glueless and then here is a sample of lace from the company so let's just go ahead oh they're fancy they got the little safety seal type packaging so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Be sure to check out Atina Hair. This one is linked in the description box for you guys. Also there you'll find lists and links of everything we use to go ahead and style this wig. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.